Hey, how you doing everybody? My name is Anthony and welcome back to Omori. And uh, we're here in Basil's house and we have to fix her f uh, photo album. So let's go do that. Basil's photo album. Her most precious belonging. Are you ready to put back the photos, Omori? Yes, I am. Yay, let's get started. Hmm, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Don't worry about a thing, Basil. Or that was Hero. <laughs> don't worry about a thing, Basil. Amori has a really good memory. I'm sure. So I'm sure he'll figure out this in no. So I'm sure he'll figure this out in no time. I don't. I don't remember whatsoever. Oh, wait, does am, do I even have to do anything? I don't. I don't think I have to actually have to remember anything. I think it just tells me where to put them. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely tells me where to put them. Oh, no. This right here. Thank you. Oh, right here. There we go. Beautiful. There. Good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though, even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise never to fight with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. Drop something. Hmm? That's strange. The photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I take this photo? Something about it seems... So familiar. N no that can't be. Whoa. Mari? What is happening? Oh my god. Well, that was a bit of a turn. Well then. Did anything change? Your sketchbook. Yeah. Did anything change? That, that wasn't in there before. Um, alright. Yeah, tissue box or wiping your sorrows away. Cat. TV different? Or laptop? I don't know why I keep thinking it's TV. Journal. Um, that doesn't really do anything for me. Just log off, yeah. The heat and laptop, warm lap. Yeah. Light bulb hangs from the ceiling, wherever it is. Look into the light bulb. I don't think that's a good thing to do for your eyes. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. It's like his soul. Can I go somewhere? I'm just gonna follow the light bulb string. See where that takes me. It takes me to death, that's where it goes. Yeah, you can't get me. Oh, sniffing a loop. What am I supposed to be doing? What the door isn't here anymore. Are you looking for a way out? The cat's dialogue's changing. Yeah. There... There always is one, but... Waiting for something to happen? Am I really just standing here waiting for something to happen? Why do I have a stab button? I can... St wait a minute. I can stab myself? I'm... I guess... I mean, it's something... He's really just gonna stab himself. Oh my god. Okay. Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? It's 
It's like a silent film. Weird static noise. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Oh, I can name him. Alright. I named him Vinny. Because I was going to name him Vincent, but Vincent wouldn't fit. The boy's name is Vinny? Yes. Got some black eyes. I got a room now. Sprinted out of that bed. Mom's voicemail. Hey Vinny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up from our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at the house in a few days, so I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might be might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a, a change of scenery will be positive for the both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone for a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since you we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe we should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. <laughs> you are hungry. Got my headphones on and ready to go for a snack. Um, is this the way to the refrigerator? You sure you want to go downstairs? Uh, can I go in other rooms? I can. Torch chest, empty picnic basket. Uh, yes, I would like to save. Okay, so that was a save room. Another room here. Is this, is this my room? That was my room. Next to it was this one. Just a bathroom. Mom's sticky note. Hi, Vinny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. XOXO. A toilet. Some towels and toiletries. Yeah. Bathtub. Okay. Let's go downstairs. Yes. No? You don't want to go downstairs? Okay. Okay. Do I need like a flashlight or something? Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. He doesn't want to go downstairs. You don't want to look down. Okay. Back to my room, I guess. What's this? Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Well, it is pretty dark out. Table lamp. Can I just go to bed? Very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Sounds like I travel time every time I sleep. Alright, does, does this change anything over here? Yes, it does. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Well, that's not good. That's locked. The bo uh, bathroom locked too? Yes, it is. Downstairs we go. That was a deep staircase, or a steep staircase. Let's go. How many stairs do you have in your house? That is a lot of snakes. Don't attack me, please. No, not any further. You are hungry. I know, I, I was hungry. He pushes on. Stop whispering in my ear. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, it is a knife. Okay, I picked up the knife. Stay away. Oh my god. Stay away. I'm just keep on running. 
Keep on running, Vinny. Stay away from the haunted, rotten hand. Uh, I'm not going to get away from that. Yeah, and I'm captured. <laughs> What is this? He's a uh, when he's afraid. I'm gonna f I'm gonna fight my demons. Gonna attack something. <laughs> I took 12 damage. I'm gonna run. I'm good with that. I I attacked it and took 12 damage. I can't run. Nice. I'm just gonna keep attacking. I guess. I don't have anything else. I am slowly dying. I can't run either. I'm just so I just attack until I die. Vinny? I can't run. I have to fight. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. Am I like stabbing someone in the real world? Cuz I did pick up a knife. And that's usually how those these types of things go. I'll wake up and like my mother's dead on the floor or something. Still can't run. Remember, Vinny. All you need is all you need to do is calm down. Maybe. It takes 143 damage, Vinny blacked out. Game over. What? I wasn't supposed to die? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll retry. I can't run. Oh, calm down. There we go. Finally, I got the skill. Veneer covers 40 heart. Okay. There we go. I'm not afraid anymore. Nice. So I got the skill of being able to calm down. Got a first aid kit, nice. Med pack. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, he's not going in there. Okay. Guess I'm going this way. There's a stain on your rug. Can I go outside? This door? Nope. How about in the fireplace? A oh, fireplace. There are nails stuck between the bricks. I don't need the knife. I'm gonna take the food. You look in the fridge and find cold steak. Take it. Uh, I don't know. Do I want cold steak? Sure. You got cold steak. I should probably heat it up before you eat it. Thanks. Put the cold steak in the microwave. I'm not taking your knife. Oh, that was fast. You got microwave steak. Yeah, right. I'll take the knife with me. Pick up the steak knife. Oh yes, a lovely well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes. Got it. it's the beauty of a steak right there. Picking up the knife made me nervous. What was in that steak? Oof. Your stomach doesn't agree with that. I guess not. It makes me loopy. It makes the world distorted. To the bathroom I go. Uh, right there. Feel better? You threw up. Oh, you threw up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brush your teeth. Yeah. Can I go to bed now? What? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to answer the door. Get an attack by an intruder or something. Mari, huh? Hey, Vinny, it's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? What would you like to do? Open the door or do nothing? Open the door. Um. Okay, go away, please. 
the fuck was that? There's a spirit in my house now. My house is haunted. No wonder we're selling it. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to bed. Okay with you? Yes, I would like to go to sleep. What is this from? Welcome to White Space. You have been living here for as long as you can remember. Remember. Okay. Can I just go through the door this time? White door, can't paint shadow, we like to do nothing, okay. Do I have to stab myself again? I don't have a tool, okay. Uh, anyway, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Omori. Kinda, the game kinda transitioned into a psychological horror game there for a couple minutes. And uh, I'm sure it's gonna get a lot worse from here. <laughs> so, we're gonna find out more, probably about more about the dark side of this game in next episode, so for now, Rubidochi.